welcome to Great Day Hollywood. This is our Memorial Day show as we celebrate all the men and women who sacrificed their lives for this great country that we all live in. I'm super excited to bring you a full show that celebrates and shares fun ideas that you can do with your family this Memorial Day. You know, so many of us, we like to think of Memorial Day as the unofficial kickoff to summer. You know, the kiddos, they're about to be out for summer break. And our first guest, Elizabeth Warner, she's a child lifestyle expert and she joins us with some great items to keep our kids learning active and entertained throughout the summer months thank you for joining us elizabeth welcome to the show oh my goodness well thank you for having me back i always look forward to speaking with you oh same here it's always so nice to have you on the show and can you believe it's memorial day what are your fun plans <laughs> Happy Memorial Day. You know, we got the cookout going on, the kids coming home. It's always my favorite. What about you? Oh, well, you know, I'll be this year at the National Memorial Day concert with PBS. So I'll be out Whoa. there with all the stars interviewing the, you know, celebs as they perform. Oh, yes, yeah, so it'll be a, a whole lot of fun Fighting. at Washington, D.C. In Washington, D.C. Yeah. Right by me. Yay. <laughs> I know, right by you, not far away, you know. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So are there any, you know, fun classic toys that help our kids develop important skills? Yes, yeah, so let's jump right in with Fisher Price. They have a beautiful new line of wooden toys. They just launched 18 new items, wonderful for kids starting off at six months up to four years. Fisher Price, 94 years old, and they started off making wood toys. So to celebrate that legacy, they've got this new line. They're affordable, high quality, gorgeous toys that really help our children through development. These are classic toys. They will certainly become heirlooms because they are made of this beautiful wood and we're going to pass them down from generation to generation. You know, we always want to get the kids off those tablets up on their feet outside. How can we convince our kids to head outdoors and get active yes. this summer? <laughs> yes. And you know what? It's all about getting to put down those electronics. You have to have the right tools to get them to do that. This is it. Mark my word. Crazy Cart Shuffle by Razor. They are leaders in all things that go. Uh, my good friend Ali actually invented this with the help of his two sons. This is a kid powered go kart. Oh, wow. No batteries, no charger, nothing that you have to maintain. They hop on, they that. shuffle their feet. Look at that. They shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Now, when they lift up those handlebars, that's a drift bar. The magic begins. They're going to drift. They're going to spin. Pure excitement, loads of self confidence. I love that this grows with the child. It has an adjustable frame, five different settings. So starting off at age four, taking them to 14 or 44 or 54 or 64 or 74, whatever you want, hop on this, have fun. Kids, parents, and grandparents are loving it. I need that when I do my Memorial Day interviews at PB. I can, can you hook you up. Oh, you just give goodness. me the word and we'll send you one. Yes. It's so oh, fun. go ahead and send it right on over, Elizabeth. Could you imagine me on that? Oh, my goodness. Yes, I can. Absolutely yes, I can. Uh, hilarious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, Elizabeth, do you have any recommendations for screen free entertainment for our kids? Oh, screen free. Yes. Yes, yes. I'm a huge fan of the Tony Box. Now, this is an award winning, mm. screen free entertainment system for our kids. They simply place a little Tony character right on top. When they place that right on top, guess what happens? It identifies the character right away and starts playing. Well, the newest character, Marvel Tony, is Black Panther. Comes with songs. Whoa! Original crime-finding stories. The kids are going to be entertained and learn at the same time. And no screens. Look at the little Tonys. I like the little Tonys. They're really cute. It's such a fun way for the kids to be able to interact with these characters. Yeah, look at that. Just dance and groove and just enjoy, right? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> no, Elizabeth, are there toys that can help our kids fall in love with science? I always love science. I always like to see the science experiments that would always happen in science class. It was always yes. so much fun. 
Well, now we can bring it home in a really cool new way from Top Secret Toys. It's called Dissecting. Now, we've got the Toy Frog Dissection Kit, but also a bat, a piranha, a salamander, and soon to be a rattlesnake. Now, here's what's so cool. Our kids are gonna discover so much through the synthetic animals while carving through one-of-a-kind gelatin material. They're gonna find the Ooh. skeletal structure. Yeah, the full set of organs, veins, arteries. While they're doing this, it comes with a dissection table. It comes with tools, two refills. So they're gonna be able to start all over again. They can do it three times. 14 page learning guide that teaches them all about anatomy and the function of all the organs. As a mother of four, I love this because no harm to animals, no foul smell, no trauma, but they're learning amazing things. This is a great thing to have on hand for the summer. Absolutely. Now, Elizabeth, have you found a way for families to de-stress during summer break? Because we all want to just, you know, live the best life during summertime, right? Yes. And you know, when we're all together, it's joyous Stretchable. and it's fun. Yes. But it also can get a little stressful. So this is called Nido. It's brought to us by Schilling. This is going to help us de-stress. It's going to help us with our fidgeting, with our focusing, you name it. They started the squish sensation pull, stretch, smush, squeeze. It's gonna help us find, yes, our best mellow. We're gonna be able to chill out a little bit. They've got some really great new items to look for. Ripples, the nice cube, the dream drop. All of these are soft, quiet, durable, no mess. They're not sticky. You know, a lot of those fidget things, they make noise, those drive me nuts. These are nice and right. quiet, gratifying, <laughs> and yes, great for all ages, not just the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that big one you got of Nido. Oh, I, know, I it's love so, that. Look, whoa! I love you these. You can really relieve your these. stress with Nido. That's right, exactly. So yeah. great for all ages. I know the kids love them, but you know I have these on my desk. And when I do my work calls all day, yeah. I'm playing with these. I mean, they're truly remarkable. Lots of fun and great I need to one de of those on my desk, even though all my right. desk is so cluttered. I don't even know where to put one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell my little my little helpers to write down a little note that you need a shuffle and you need some needo. A shuffle and a needo. A needo. Oh and well, your life it, will Whenever be you send those, whenever you send those, I'll, I will test them out on the show yes. and uh, the shuffle will be hilarious. Yes. Know, so, uh, All right. Just wait until you see that. Oh, I can't Elizabeth. wait. Anyway, um, Elizabeth, thank you so much for coming on the show. Tell us where we should go for more information. <laughs> yes, um, head to our website, which is WernerInfo.com. I'll have a little Black Panther take us out. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh I love you. Thank, thank you, you Elizabeth. So me. nice to see you, my friend. I love you. You take care. Happy Memorial Day. <laughs> thank you. You too. <laughs> As we all get ready to celebrate Memorial Day, the unofficial kickoff to summer, it's important to know your way around the grill. Here to help with some ideas and tips for you is Josh Capon, a restaurateur, chef, and burger master. Welcome, Josh. Happy Memorial Day. Nice to see you. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for having me. <laughs> it's really nice to have you on the show. So first off, when it comes to life skills, how important is it to know your way around the grill? Talk Listen, to us about I, that, I Josh. think men, women, children of all ages should know their way around the grill because I'll tell you one thing. If you know how to man a grill, you will have your friends and family in your backyard all summer long creating delicious, precious memories. Josh, by the way, I'm looking at the fries that you have beside you. I am a lover of French fries. I could eat fries all day long. I I, I've been eating, eat I've been eating day these anywhere. all day long. But we got fries, we got homemade kettle chips, and tater tots. Tater tots are having a moment right now. So just having a nice assortment of all three. Uh, uh, yes, I am a potato head, uh, Josh. <laughs> anyway, I'm with, I'm with what does it take? What does it take now to throw a great cookout? Because so many will be doing that during Memorial Day weekend and the summertime as well. That's what summer's all about, summer grilling. I say you start with some perfect burgers, right? Get some great patties. I like a blend of chuck, short rib, and brisket. 
80-20, meaning 80% meat to 20% fat, gives you a perfect ratio for a juicy burger. And then just have some fun, create a different few toppings, get a few different buns, build your own burgers as you go, have your guests build some burgers, have a little competition, who can build the best burger? I am featuring three of my signature burgers from Capon's Burgers at the brand new Fountain Blue Hotel in Las Vegas. We're gonna start with the Capon's Classic, lettuce, tomato, pickles, American cheese, and secret sauce. Then we got the smoke show, caramelized onion and bacon jam, American cheese and Ooh. crispy onions. And of course, because we're in Vegas, we got the blackjack. And you're gonna wanna double down on that bad boy with the black truffle aioli, <laughs> crispy potatoes and melted raclette cheese. That burger hits the jackpot every time. Josh, how dare you make me so hungry, wanting a burger right now. Uh, they all look delicious. Amazing, great ideas right here for grilling this summer on the grill. Now, what makes a truly amazing burger? Talk to us about that because I don't think it can get any more amazing than the three that you've Listen, already I offered think, Again, us. you start with the great patty, right? Then you want to find the perfect yeah. bun, not too big, not too small, and just a nice assortment of toppings on top so it all comes together, together to create that perfect bite. And I think it's also fun mm -hmm. when you're entertaining in your backyard, you got a bunch of friends and family back there. Cut them in half or cut them in quarters and put some toothpicks in there so people could taste mm -hmm. a few different burgers and not have to commit to a whole burger. And then maybe later on, you're cooking up some big, fat, juicy steaks. Now, Josh, talk to us about why tater tots are having their moment this summer. Talk to us about because that. Because they're just so <laughs> perfect. I mean, look at that thing. It's a perfect crispy potato oh. every time. Come on, nothing better than a good top. Oh my goodness, I wish I had me a tot. I have some in the freezer. If I, should I get could, those out if right I now, could, so I would. Like, I would hand it right through the camera to you. Yeah. We need to invent that, Josh, how we can just hand food right into the camera. Could you imagine? One oh day. Oh my goodness, like that Willy would Wonka. be like One day. a new hit. Willy Wonka. <laughs> Josh, you have told us so much about the amazing burgers that you have on site with you, but is there anything else that you want us to know about the burgers, and where can we go to learn more information as well? Again, these are just the three of the signature burgers that I just told you guys about, but for so many of these recipes and so many more, go to beefitswhatsfordinner.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at, at Chef Capon. I'm cooking up all kinds of good recipes all the time. Great steaks, great burgers for you to enjoy all summer long. Nice. And Chef Capon, as we're celebrating Memorial Day, do you have any fun plans? I do have some fun plans. I'll be down at the beach, most likely manning the grill all weekend long. Oh, that sounds like a fun time. Well, Josh, it's so nice to have you on the show. Thank you so much for talking about all this greatness right here of summer grilling. You take care, my friend, and you have a great day and happy Memorial Day to you. Same to you. I appreciate you very much. A free open-air concert at the Lincoln Memorial will feature opera's greatest hits. The performance will connect new and diverse audiences with artists, highlighting the beauty of Italian opera as informal, fun, and open to all. Duke Ellington graduate, University of MD grad student, and D.C. native Anthony Anderson will be the featured soloist at this free event on June 1st at the Lincoln Memorial created to expose the greater public to the wonders of opera music. Joined by Anthony as Maestro Alvisa Casalotti. Hello, guys. Welcome to the show. Nice to meet you guys virtually. Hello. Hello. I'm so excited to be Hello. here. Hello. Thank you. Hello, everybody. It's Thank you. It's so nice to have you both join me. So first off, Anthony, let's start off with you. Uh, what inspired you to get into opera? All right. So it really started at Duke Ellington. That's where I first started singing. I It was crazy because I auditioned. and I wanted to be an actor, but uh, there was something that led me into actually the singing room and uh, I sang and for uh, the auditioner, and I ended up pulling out my air guitar. And next thing you know, I am a singer. <laughs> <laughs> it, it happened all rather quickly. Um, but really, I saw this opera at uh, Washington National Opera. Uh, they were doing a dress rehearsal of Cintorentola, which is a story of Cinderella. And I watched on and I was just intrigued at how these singers could produce these massive sounds. And I was way in the back. And so I said, I wanted to do that. <laughs> 
And look at you now, you know, crushing it in the game of opera. Now, Alvisa, let's come to you. Talk to me about how you are trying to modernize opera and bring it out of gilded halls. Well, you know, I ask myself as a musician about what's going on with opera and classical music. And the answer I gave myself is that it used to be pop music in the last 450 years. In the last 50 years, it's been perceived more and more as a music for the elite. And then I realized that it is, it is not. It is a deep, profound cultural experience for who knows opera, but it is a, an amazing entertainment for who doesn't know opera and a possibility to plant a seed for culture. And uh, therefore, I thought that was an experience for all that it only had uh, positive uh, aspects. And it was also a way for Italian DNA to spread our beauty, to make everyone know about the wealth. And this, you know, Italian opera singing has been uh, uh, chosen by UNESCO Intangible World Heritage. And uh, so it is even more of a mission for, for me to bring uh, opera outside of theaters and make it available through free performances to all. That's incredible. And so that's, you. That's, why, that's, why, that's why I wanted to do it, because also I wanted to share the beauty. You know, when I was a student, I was in high school and in middle school, and I saw my friends who did not know opera, and I was exposed to the amazing world and beauty. I always thought that, I wanted to share this uh, this uh, this knowledge and this this beautiful world with everyone, and uh, and here we are. And here we are now, Alvisa. Can you tell us where you are at because it looks magnificent? The view behind you. Well, this is Ponte Vecchio, the famous Ponte Vecchio in Florence. Uh, I am uh, due for rehearsal because uh, in two days we will Opera Italiana is in the air. We'll be performing in Rome in the the beautiful park of Villa Borghese uh, before coming to DC on June 1st at Lincoln Memorial at 6 p.m. to you guys. Wow. So it start, the tour is starting. Sounds like a fun time. Well, thank you guys so much once again for coming on the show. Y'all take care and have a great day. And see you, and see you on June 1st at 6 p.m. Yes, you. June 1st, 6 p.m. You guys don't miss it. Real finger, okay? Let's make sure it's real finger. Real fingers, yeah. Yeah. Don't blink. The 19th season of America's Got Talent returns with a new set of inspiring performers looking to compete for the ultimate $1 million prize. Here to tell us all about it today is the one and only my friend Terry Cruz. Hello, Terry. Nice to see you once again. Hi. Hey, hey, my pets are popping <laughs> for you. <huh? laughs> It's How nice to see you. How I'm doing great. How are you? It's been a while, you know. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm I'm pumped, man. I mean, this is my favorite time of year. You know, oh, AGT yeah. runs the summer. You know what I'm saying? It feels like here we go again. Now, Terry, let's talk about America's Got Talent. 19 seasons of AGT. That is amazing. Uh, you know, what keeps you coming back, Terry, each time to host this incredible talent show? Because it's well, the number one show for the entire summer. Well, first of all, you there's no limit to human ability. You know, I remember my first couple seasons hosting. I said, I think we've done it all. And every year, it's, a, it's something I've never seen always get my mind blown because it's like what and remember having 19 seasons there are people who have grown up on this show you know what i mean so they kind of know what they have to be and when they come they're ready they're like oh yeah i remember this from season 14 well this one i'm going to take it to here and yeah. it's more dangerous more mind-blowing more thrilling more hilarious uh, that's what I love. It's just one of the best, best things to be a part of. And it feels like you know it's summer when you see AGTs on the air. You know, I've seen the promo for the new season, and the acts this year seem to be on another level. I mean, I know we say that each season, but share with us, you know, how this year's competition is literally like no other. Oh, first of all, I got to say this, and I, I'm going to give this away. It's not a, quite a spoiler, but we have the youngest yeah contestant in history it's like a toddler i think he's like two years old he literally had a bottle and then we put him on stage and you're like what 
<laughs> yeah, like, and, and wait, and he is a tremendous mathematician. He was doing math that I could never do, that I knew college graduates can't do. And I was yeah. like, this is proof positive that uh, there's a genius in every person. You know what I mean? Oh, you just yeah. have to find mm-hmm. out what what person's magic is. What, what kind of magic do you have? But th- this little kid found it. It was unreal. I'm telling you, you got to see it to believe it. Your mind will be blown. That's amazing. I should have had that kid with me when I was in high school, struggling in math to the A to the Z to the B to the D, doing algebra. I'm like, what the heck is all this? I'm never going to use this in real life. Uh, but <laughs> that's awesome. I know. Now, and, also, I... and also, too, the awesome thing is the judges, they're back together. I mean, what an incredible group of people. Sophia, Heidi, Simon, and Howie. I mean, I do not think we could have anybody else do the job of judging than the four that I just named. But, you know, speaking of judging, the Golden Buzzer um, is back. This season, there will be more Golden Buzzers than ever before with uh, nine total. I was like, what, nine? Can you explain to us uh, yes. why that will be happening this year, Terry? That's exciting. Well, first of all, I got to say this, and you're right. Um, when I look at the five of us, we feel we feel like the dream team because everyone's at the top of their game. Everyone's still mm-hmm. doing their thing, still doing movies, comedy, modeling, and Simon still owns the world. So it's all works. <laughs> but now when you see, you know, there used to be just four golden buzzers or, and then I get one, so there was yeah. five. But what would happen is that you still see all this tremendous talent and you, mm-hmm. the judges are end up, they end up apologizing. They're like, man, if I had another one, I would hit it. But now we said, look, give them another one. And what we found <laughs> is that, oh my God, there's n- not one golden buzzer wasted because there's yeah. so many deserving talents out there. Uh, and it's so incredible. It's like, I, I think that the show needed more and now we finally got it. And I think everyone's going to be happy. Turn off the news and turn on AGT. It will make you feel better. That's right. You know, yes. <laughs> now, yes. lastly, Terry, <laughs> we are celebrating Memorial Day here at our show because I'm going to be uh, at PBS for the National Memorial Day concert interviewing the lineup this weekend. But I want to ask you, my friend, how will you celebrate the holiday? Because this is like almost the unofficial kickoff to summer, right? You know, <laughs> It sure is, and I'm just going to relax. But it's also really about the people, who, you know, who, who who sacrificed for our country. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's really it's really great to take a moment. You know, this is the thing. There's not a lot of holidays. Uh, I know other countries have holiday more holidays than we do. You don't. Yeah. We don't get a lot of holidays in the United States. And let me tell you, when you get one, take it, take it, run with it. Uh, and I surely will be. I'm going to relax. <laughs> well, Terry Crews, always so nice to see you. You are such a real one. Be sure to catch America's Got Talent. Season 19 premieres Tuesday, May 28th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on NBC with episodes available for streaming the next day on Peacock. Terry, you have a nice Memorial Day weekend. Take care. Oh, thank you so much. Enjoy. I love you guys. Thank you. Terry is the best. I just love him. He's a great guy. And I'm super excited to catch the all-new season of AGT. It's going to be amazing airing this Tuesday. Now, before we go, I'm so excited to share with all of you the talented people that I got to speak with for a National Memorial Day concert that airs on PBS each year. This is their 35th year doing the show. And what a stellar lineup they had for this special as we honor all the great people that lost their lives for this beautiful country that we live in called the United States of America. Um, Here is a look at my fun day in Washington, D.C. Check it out. Mary, so nice to be with you for the National Memorial Day concert with PBS. So glad you're here. Yes. Join us for the 35th anniversary of the National Memorial Day concert, a night to honor our troops, our veterans, and our military families. Join me, Joe Montaigne. And me, Gary Sinise. Can you tell us, Joe, about the lineup? Who will be appearing on the 35th Memorial Day program? Our section of talent, you know, we've got Brian Cranston, who a lot of people know from movies, television, theater. We've got Cynthia Revo. We've got Jamie Johnson. We've got uh, Jen, Jenna Malone. We've got it's it's a whole Mary McCormick, Carrie Lavoie singing. Yeah. yeah, so it's always every every year. I would just say this: 
we're given this three-day holiday, all of us in this country, Memorial Day. C carve out 90 minutes from your holiday. Go ahead, do your barbecues, watch the Indianapolis 500, do all the things you like to do on Memorial Day weekend. But carve out 90 minutes and you'll understand why this day was set aside as such an important day for our country. And in my mind, it's become the most important holiday we celebrate in this country because it gives us the ability to serve all, to, 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 uh, to celebrate all those other holidays. Without the sacrifices made during, that allowed us to do Memorial Day, there would be no United States of America. So it's that important. Percy, what can all of us do to help? If you're a civilian, lean in, reach out. If you notice something about a family member or friend who is a veteran, say something. Your rehearsal was amazing. Uh, we saw you get emotional. How special does this holiday mean to you, Memorial Day? And can you talk to us about your performance? Thank you. Um, that's that's very sweet. It, um, Memorial Day has always been to me thinking about Pearl Harbor because I grew up in Hawaii, and that is, you know, a, a, a big pillar in our history um, and a big part of our um, of our Memorial Day um, remembrances is um, centering around Pearl Harbor, but. What we, what we know growing up in Hawaii and knowing the song Aloha Oi and knowing the history of how the song was written, the circumstances around uh, when it was written, our queen was um, in house arrest and she, from her, from her room, she saw uh, two lovers um, saying goodbye and it was their forever goodbye, you know? Um, and uh, she wrote that song thinking of them and also it became a love song from the queen to her people and saying goodbye to her people um, and uh, and there it's just a very complex history around that song and and my own personal story uh, that includes loss and and um, and being surrounded by surrounded by people who have served our country and surrounded by mothers and fathers who have lost their children and we get to come together on this one day to remember, you know, of course we remember them every minute of every day, but, but on this one day we get to surround ourselves with each other and, and remember together. To me, this is, this is a, an American celebration and it has that gravitas to it. We can't forget the real purpose of why we're here. Memorial Day is not about partisanship, it's about Americans. It's not about what the four day week, a three day weekend, it's not about a sale that might be going on. And so it's important to have a show like this to just remind people, this is the real meaning of it. And just take a moment, take some time, watch this show with your family, hopefully, and just take some time and remember that freedoms that you enjoy were never free to begin with. They're always fought and hard-earned wins. And there were a lot of people who sacrificed in order for us to have those freedoms. Memorial Day, people go to cookouts and they drink a lot and they go to the beach. And I, I, that's fine, but I hope everyone takes a minute or an hour and a half to watch our show and to commemorate the real reason for the holiday. I think it's really important and, you know, put your kids in front of the program too because it's uh, even more important that we teach our future generations about why we all get to live like this. You know, it's, it's not free. Who knows what What a fun time in Washington, D.C. Tune in and watch a National Memorial Day concert airing on PBS Sunday, May 26th at 8 p.m. You might see me and Jared in the audience because we'll be out there attending the show. So uh, keep your eyes out in the audience to see if you see us. <laughs> Have a beautiful day, everyone. Have a nice Memorial Day weekend with your family. Bye-bye.